Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, and I'm back today to talk about how to pick the perfect setup for your next small stream adventure. Before we dive into how to pick the perfect rod and reel for your small stream, I think it's important to take a step back and actually think about what we mean when we talk about small stream fly fishing. And generally speaking, small stream fly fishing is not just about having that smaller body of water. There are rivers like Depuis and Armstrong's that technically speaking would qualify as a small stream, but those really fall more under a Spring Creek guise. So today, we are talking about waters that are generally speaking gonna be less than 25 feet across, but more importantly, we're talking about places that are off the beaten path. These waters are gonna be non-technical and really the difficulty is gonna be finding and getting to these fish more so than presenting a fly extremely accurately and precisely. But a small stream can also be in your backyard. There are places where the fish aren't that big and generally speaking, not that picky. They're just plain fun to fish. Think about places like blue lining for brook trout here in Maine or Third Meadow way, way up on Slough Creek and Yellowstone or the multitude of cutty streams in the Cascades. There are just so many opportunities for small stream fishing. And small streams are just a fantastic way to get out there and have a great time. And particularly during the pandemic when some of our travel was curtailed, there's no better way to get outside than to check out your closest small stream. Hi guys, I wanted to pop in and let you know that these videos are fully funded by your purchases at our shop. If you find this video helpful and you wanna keep them coming, consider making your next gear purchase at tridentflyfishing.com. Now let's dive into the rods and reels. Starting with rods, there's really only one rule to follow, which is have as much fun as you possibly can on the water. And because of that, choosing a rod for small streams is actually really easy. Our first recommendation is to lighten your line weight. So if you're a traditional trout fisherman, you've probably got a four, five, or a six weight. For small streams, these are gonna be smaller fish, way smaller casts, Generally speaking, you're not gonna be battling any wind and going to a two, three, or four weight is just gonna be way, way more fun. Just think of the bend that that small brookie is gonna put into a two weight versus that six weight. Having a lighter line weight just maximizes that experience much better. Next up is to go shorter. A lot of small streams here in the Northeast are brush covered and a shorter rod definitely helps you navigate that brush. However, a shorter rod also lowers the swing weight. So because we're not dealing with technical situations where you've really got to keep a lot of line off the water or make a long cast, you can take a rod that's maybe seven feet long and it's perfectly adequate for small streams. Sure, you could fish an eight or a nine foot rod, but if you really want to have the most fun, I personally think that that means you have to get to the lightest possible setup. And our third recommendation for small streams is to go softer. And really what that means is to think about a soft graphite rod or a fiberglass rod. I've got with me here this epic three weight, and it's a perfect small stream rod. It's gonna be way softer than your traditional modern graphite rod, and it's just gonna be way more fun on those smaller fish. And the same thing with this upstream. While this is still a graphite rod, it is designed to be much, much softer than a traditional graphite rod. And there are lots of options other than these two rods that fit into that medium action or softer category. Whether you go with bamboo or graphite or fiberglass, it's really up to you. Again, just pick the rod that you're gonna have the most fun with. And before we move on to reels, I did wanna give you one additional thing to consider, which is versatility. Typically speaking, the lighter in line weight you go and the shorter the rod, the less versatile it is. So if you're looking for a super dedicated small stream rod, that seven foot two weight is gonna be perfect. But if you want to, go fish a spring creek, or maybe fish an occasional dry on your favorite river, you might wanna think about a three or four weight instead. Now onto reels, and reels are even easier to choose than the rods were. It's real simple. 
Match the line weight on the reel to your rod. So if you have a two weight rod, go with a two weight reel. Then pick the lightest reel that's in your budget. This here is a Ross Colorado, and it's a super lightweight reel, and it's gonna be really, really fun for small stream fishing. It's gonna make that setup as light as possible. And last but not least is think about a click Paul. If your go-to trout reel has a drag, you might be thinking that click Paul is a little bit out of your comfort zone, but for small stream fishing, it's way more than adequate. And that click Paul allows you to not only get great feedback with a cool sound, but it also tends to be way lighter than a reel with a drag. So think about a click Paul. Now that we've covered our rod and our reel, just pair that with your favorite true to line weight line, something like a Rio Gold, and you'll have the perfect outfit for your small stream adventure. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.